we are filming our 200th episode. This is rarefied air. Almost nobody gets to 200 episodes. I can't quite believe I've been in a show for 200 episodes and I've been around a while. But um, I'm glad to be breathing this rarefied air and it's a, a celebration of the family that we are and the uh, dedication of through you know the ups and downs in the 10 years we've been shooting. And so I think it's good that we're marking it. And uh, yeah, very, very pleased. What makes this show special is the same thing that made it special from the very first episode. It was, there was a feel in that pilot, especially towards the end of the pilot, when we're all sitting in the hospital, kind of sitting, waiting area um, of togetherness and family. And, you know, I know we had that, and then the writers started writing to it, but the chemistry that those actors got together while filming in a relatively mild Chicago winter, I now know. <laughs> Um, it's a thing that's been maintained, you know, and even though COVID's happened, you know, and we were all kept apart, the thing we were able to do for season nine and finish it, even though it was only 16 episodes, was the sense memory of the family aspect that we had. And that is maintaining all the way through the fun and the laughter that we have on set. I think every other show should be envious of because we can do the serious stuff and yet we make each other laugh, we inspire each other, we push each other, and that's just natural to this family. So that's what makes it special. I think it comes straight down the tube. My first memories of working on this show was actually uh, the, the moment I sat in a room with Derek and Michael and Dick and Peter, and, and they were like, what do you like about the show? And I was like, well, camaraderie? <laughs> <laughs> um, but that, that's what I really loved about it. You know, I didn't expect to get that question. Um, and I didn't know any of the faces that were in that room, but the script was very strong on camaraderie and, and people being there for each other. It takes a special type of person to run in to danger, run in to a fire as opposed to away from it. And uh, that, that, that first memory of that, of that interview, and then I went downstairs. Um, and on my way out, I met Taylor Kinney. And, and they were like, oh, Eamon, you, you know, you're gonna be working together. This is Taylor. I was like, hey, and I was like, God, you're a really good looking guy. Okay, so that's me, I'm done. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody's gonna like me in this show. Uh, but we started laughing from then and, and connecting from then. And uh, that's, that's the very first memory, the interview. I can tell you what it's like to play the type of person that runs into danger as opposed to away from it. With the Chicago Fire Department in particular, um, the love and respect and the, um, the, the, the aspect of the Chicago Fire Department that we all took on board from Steve Chikorotis because he shared his love with it. For us, we were just a bunch of actors. We could have been in any show. And we would not be Chicago Fire without Steve Chikorotis. So, uh, and his love for the Chicago Firemen let us know what was expected of us and who we were representing. And that the most of the work that a firefighter does or a first responder does, one, they do things and see things that we don't want to see. They, you know, they sanitize our world for us. If there's been a huge accident and there's lots of blood and all the rest of it, somebody's cleaning it up and it's nearly always them. Um, but that is an honor, is the, only one, is the only real way to put it, that after 10 years, which is a long time to be doing a show, the fact that we all still, still feel it's an honor to represent these men and women. And, uh, you know, there's a, there's a part of me that goes, yeah, I wish I could do it for real. And then I realize what I mean by that, because we portray it so real on this show with our special effects and our great crew and our great, you know, people who blow stuff up and put things on fire. Actually, I don't really want to do it for real. I like pretending. 
you know, and, and even our special effects makeup, sometimes I'm like, ugh. And I have to remind myself, because you know, Chris Payne is so good, and I've got, I don't want to see that on a daily basis. And then I realize what we're doing. We're asking these men and women to clean up our mess, pull, up, pull us out of their accidents and stuff like that, and then still be normal and be funny and, and kind of go to work every day. And that's a lot, you know, and I'm, I'm not quite sure that I'm up to that. You know, so it's an honor to portray them and get to that emotional nut about what makes that person tick. And it's still like getting blood out of a stone going, what do you really feel? <laughs> because they always hide it, because they don't want to share. They don't go home to their wives and their children and say, here's what I did to work at work today. And uh, that for me is an honor.